What's up, you guys? It's your bro, Michael, and I'm back again. And I really do appreciate all the support over these last few videos that I've posted for you guys. And I appreciate you guys so much that I'm thinking about doing a giveaway this video. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. I'm gonna give you details for that. So stick around for that. But anyways, let's jump into this video. This video, like I told you in the last one, is focused on quarterback work. And we had a Hall of Fame coach come in to work with Cody, put him through a few workouts, and I recorded a bunch of it. So you guys can get some good drills, you guys can get some good work in and learn a lot from this video. And so I worked with Cody and with Coach Shea and hopefully you guys can get a lot of information for that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, especially you quarterbacks out there. I'm gonna answer a couple questions. I'm gonna give a couple shout outs at the end of the video and then I'm gonna follow it up with the giveaway. So stay tuned for that to find out the information on what you have to do to win what I'm giving away. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the questions, the shout outs. And now I'm gonna kick it off to Cody. Here we go, enjoy. What's up guys, Cody Keith. I'm out here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, getting some work in before I head off to Austin, Texas for the Spring League. Pretty excited about it. Right now I'm working with some college guys out here. I'm working with a couple pro guys just to get ready. Spring League is a two week deal where we go and we practice and then we scrimmage each other. It's two games. I'm on the South team, so I'll play the West and I'll play the North. Pretty excited about it. Right now I'm working with Joe Dickinson, my quarterback coach, who has coached a little place most recently was with the Buffalo Bills last year and now he's just training quarterbacks. And then at the Spring League, I'm gonna be working with a guy named Terry Shea, who kind of been everywhere. He was with the Miami Dolphins, he was with the Rams, you know, he's been at Cal, he's kind of coached all over the place, college, NFL, and he's also worked with guys like Matthew Stafford, RG3, a couple other NFL guys that are high name, high profile guys, and I'm just excited to learn some knowledge from them and play in a couple games and show off what I can do, showcase my talents and meet some cool guys. This spring league is an opportunity for guys who have either been invited to a mini camp or have been uh, on a 53 man roster, so it's no college guys allowed, only in NFL guys, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just gonna go out here and throw it around and see what happens and hopefully get some opportunities in the future. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot, guys. Beautiful day out here. Don't know if you guys can see all the cones and nets and bags we have set up doing some quarterback work today with Cody. We're working with Terry Shea, who's a Hall of Famer, quarterback coach in the NFL. He knows what he's talking about. Every throw counts, even the warm-up throws. Here he's backpedaling about 40, 50 yards. Nice, easy throw, a little warm-up. Not backpedaling. Sometimes I'll backpedal, sometimes I'll get in the drop. One step back, one drop back, and then high knee over. Right handed and left handed.
Watch my elbow. There you go. Boom. Headed to Austin, Texas for the week. You can come follow my journey at thespringleague.com. See how I'm playing. See some of the other guys in the league. It'll be a good time. So come check it out, guys. See ya. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed Cody, enjoyed the video. Took a lot of time and effort to make that video. So I hope you guys really did enjoy it, especially you quarterbacks out there. There was a lot of information in that video. So make sure you go back and watch it. Now I'm going to give a couple shout outs, answer a couple questions, and then we're going to get into the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. The first shout out that I wanted to give was to the Ken and Keon show who just commented squad. Like I said in the last video, all you have to do is comment squad if you want a shout out. So I see you bro, I appreciate it. Keep grinding and we'll make it to the top together. The second shout out I wanted to give is to my boy Hugo from Sweden who said squad from your Swedish bro, keep grinding and I will see you in the league. I appreciate all the support, man. I love when my reach expands to other countries so I do appreciate the support all the way from Sweden, man. I see you, keep grinding. The sky's the limit, man. Just keep grinding and I hope that you reach all your dreams and you'll be successful as long as you keep grinding and work towards that goal. The first question I wanted to answer was from Warrior D'Angelo who asked, how did I become a starter and a great college football player? And honestly, I think to become a great football player and to become a starter, the first thing you have to do is be dedicated to the playbook. I think that's what separates a lot of people coming into college and coming into any team with winning a job and ultimately winning that starting spot, the playbook. If you know the playbook in and out, you know all the different positions that you need to know. As a receiver, we had three different receiving positions and I knew all of those. And so I think if you know what you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to be and how to line up, I think the rest takes care of itself. If you don't have to second guess yourself on what play you're running, you can play fast, play carefree. And then from there, ultimately, you're gonna get better and the coaches are gonna see that. You're gonna see that you take it seriously and that you love what you're doing. And that will ultimately help you become a great football player and a great starter. So I hope that helps you. And the second question I wanna to answer today is from Isaiah Aos, who said, squad, love your videos. Any tips to stay on top of homework? 
work and school while playing football in college. And for me, for whatever level I was playing at, when I was in school and playing football, I think the biggest thing was time management. You always have to stay on top of your homework in school. Everyone knows that because school is really gonna take you as far as you wanna go in life. You only could play football, you only could play sports, whatever sport you play for a certain amount of time, it's limited. So I think knowing that and having a plan for life after your sport is really what's essential and really what I want to share with you guys. I think that if you're able to make a plan and to execute that plan and set yourself up for the future beyond your sport, then that's the ultimate goal. And that's really what I wanna lay down to you guys. So I think that time management was the biggest thing for me when I was at Stanford um, and even in high school, you know, I knew that school came first. And because of the love that I had for football, I put as much effort and as much time into school as I did as football, because I knew that after football, I'd have to have a life and I'd have to have a career after that. And so I knew school would set me up for the future. And I think that help you stay on top of your homework. But if you are struggling, I think time management is the most important part, whether it's setting a block of time before practice or after practice to do your homework, to study, that's life. And that's what you got to do. You're there to go to school and you're there to play football. So I think time management is the best thing that I could offer to help you guys stay on top of school while you're playing football. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the giveaway. What am I giving away? Can I get a drum roll, please? Some Stanford gloves. Fresh in the bag. These were my favorite gloves that we had at Stanford. I wore them all the time. I wore them in the NFL too, but these were my favorite gloves, super bad fours that I wore in mostly every game at Stanford. And so and all you have to do to win these is make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my Instagram page, which is down here. I just posted a new Instagram, a TBT, from when I was at Stanford because I always loved these gloves. And so all you have to do is go like my TBT at my Instagram, at Michael Rector, like that picture, comment whatever you want. It could be as simple as squad and then tag one of your squad members afterwards. Tag one of your homies and that's all you have to do. And I'm gonna pick one person from those comments that wins these gloves and I'm gonna send them to you guys and the winner will be announced in the next video so get on that go find that tbt at my corrector on my instagram go give it a like leave a comment comment whatever you want tag one of your squad members as simple as that and that's all you have to do to win these super bad fours fresh out the bag i think the stanford logos on the palms one of my favorite gloves that i always wore at stanford so follow me on instagram at michael rector like that picture leave a comment tag one of your squad your boys your girls whatever tag somebody and then i'll announce the winner on the next video so stay tuned for that and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this quarterback video shout out to cody keith go give him a follow on instagram on twitter go follow his journey in the spring league i'm off to mine pretty soon so follow my journey on that too. I appreciate it to Cody, so shout out to him. And as always, if you guys have a question that you want answered like earlier in the video, just drop it in the comments. If you guys want a shout out, comment squad. I'll pick two random people every video to give a shout out to, to answer some questions. And don't forget about the giveaway. Super bad fours from Stanford. Sending them out to somebody soon. Remember, all you have to do, Follow me on Instagram, at Michael Rector. Like my TBT that I posted today. Like it, leave a comment, tag one of your squad members. Tag one of your boys, tag one of your girls, whoever. Simple as that. The winner's gonna be announced on the next video, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and we'll catch you next time. Until then, Rec, signing out. Yeah. West side, then they love the bang. Love the now some West side, like to do the same thing. Same. Pull up and wreck, pull up and wreck.